first, an idea we found in Texas for keeping your favorite beverages nice and chill. While you're on the move, introducing the cruising cooler. Down in Texas, they're not riding horses anymore. It's save a horse, ride a cooler. Woo! The cool thing about coolers is what you want to do is when you're running them really fast, I call it hanging a cheek. You always got to hang off the inside, kind of like NASCAR, all left turn. When Kevin Beal was struggling around an Indy 500 event with his cooler, he knew there had to be a better way. I looked down there and they shut down the road and everybody was carrying coolers. In the same parking lot I was in, they had one of these uh, little pocket bikes with a little motor. And so I said, man, I can get one of those motors into one of those coolers. And uh, that's how it all started. And I came back and uh, started working on the first one. And so the journey began to make everyone's tailgate party dreams come true. Design spec, man, it's got to hold a case of beer. So, uh, or your favorite frosty beverage. But anyway, we, uh, we made the capacity for one case and eight pounds of ice, and that was one of the design specs on it. Topping out at 27 kilometers per hour, these frames are reinforced with steel and can handle up to 540 pounds on each unit. They're not very wobbly. They're a, a three-wheel design, which helps them to turn a lot faster, and they're very maneuverable. And they have foot pegs that keep them from, from tipping over if you happen to turn too sharp. Over the years, Kevin has refined the art of protecting your frosty cold beverages. Ranging in price from three to $900, he's produced 45,000 coolers across the globe. The newest models have interchangeable batteries so you can keep your ride cruising all day. This is our newest product. This is your personal golf cart. We made this so all you golf fans got something else to drive. This is a new 1,000 watt. It's actually got so much torque, it'll actually pull the front, front wheel off the ground. It's uh, got a thousand watts, four brush electric motor, 48 volts. It's actually uh, almost crazy power. It can tow uh, up to 800 pounds, almost a thousand pounds. And it's fast. And then there's the attachments. Yeah, you think this is cool. How about a 200 quart hybrid electric 4x4? Hang in there, we got them coming. So we designed this, the Cooligan, to tow behind it because. A case is not enough for somebody here. If they want to take extra drinks or extra anything, and each one of these has a trailer hitch on it also, so you can keep making a train and continue them uh, as many as you can possibly carry. You can actually probably get a drink out of your last cooler if you're really good at it. Of course, they all come with trailer hitches, disc brakes, chain drive, chain guards, uh, and these outer aluminum struts. Because of the, uh, the, the way people drive these, they drive them like race cars, so without those stabilizers on there, we started getting structural fatigue in this area here, so we put these stabilizers back. And that's it, that's the full line of coolers. One thing Kevin has learned is that when you have a good idea, it's important to act on it before someone else does. Most people, when they see that they, they stare, they laugh, uh, they think it's uh, great. I've had, you know, 15,000 people say that's the greatest thing ever, ever made. I've had about a bunch of other people said, man, I wish I'd, I thought of that a long time ago and I just never got to. Once these coolers started cruising the streets, the applications went far beyond the tailgate. Just basically anywhere where you've got to go somewhere and if you've got to carry something, uh, they're just like a styrofoam truck. They're actually one of the lightest uh, uh, weight per, per pound vehicles that's, uh, that's out there on the market. One thing is for certain, people will go to great lengths for a tall, cold, portable drink. You know, necessity is the mother of invention, right? Yeah. And Ooh, whether, this whether, is important. <laughs> yeah, whether there was actually a necessity for that, I don't know. It is a pretty cool mode of personal transport, though.